Vlad's the bartender exact and you drop that because you suck because you're a fucking vampire <laughs> Hey besties, it's me Lemon and I'm back with a new video on my channel and today we have a new freaking series and I am so excited to start this series because I don't know, I, I just, I've been wanting to start a new series, I've been wanting to like fresh up in the channel with like new stuff, obviously we have face cam today, I look a little rough, don't mind that. Also, my face cam's a little weird. I'm sorry. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But anyways, this is our beautiful, beautiful Sim that I had posted on Twitter. Her name is Rain True. So this will be the true legacy. The way this challenge is set up, she is not like a truthful person. So it's kind of ironic that her last name is literally true. But this is the Crybaby Wins. And... I'm going to read you guys the rules and stuff right now. I have it on my iPad. So basically, the rule is you must complete each goal listed for each generation in order to move on to the next. Some cheats are allowed to progress the story, uh, clarifying each generation. No money cheats, though. That's kind of not fun. You can use free real estate for your first house in Gen 1, but that's it unless otherwise stated. Lifespan can be kept on normal or long. Normal is optimal. Short is not recommended unless you want to have a nervous breakdown. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, you can take the Sims to cast that full mode, edit mode, since a lot of Sims need specific traits, interact, if you play the challenge, please tag me, which I will, okay, and then Dollhouse is our generation one, so we have to have aspiration, successful lineage, career, none at first, politician as an adult in either branch, um, traits, perfectionist, paranoid, family oriented, family oriented, colors, yellow and white. You will see a lot of yellow and white and a lot of other colors. Um, everyone thinks that we're perfect. Please don't let them look through the curtains. You grew up a perfect white picket fence life in a perfect home, perfect parents, perfect siblings, perfect grades. Nothing was ever out of place. Or was it? <laughs> Your memory is a little jaded. It seems maybe you got it all wrong. You were taught father builds the home and mother maintains it. But how was dad making money again? Jeez, you can't remember. Did you choose to forget? And like the perfect sim you are, you fell in love with high school with the perfect, the perfect person. Or you thought they were perfect. Until you saw them kissing your sibling. And only a few years later, they got married and you weren't even invited to the wedding. No, this wasn't how it was supposed to be. You were perfect. Where did it go wrong? You promised you'd keep to your mother's beliefs. You married young, 18 to be exact, and took care of your spouse, of your home. But your ex was always hanging around your sibling's house, and you guys may have accidentally hooked up. And now you guys are pregnant, each having a different spouse. Is it weird to co-parent with your sibling's spouse? Yes. Should you keep seeing your ex? No. <laughs> what about your partner? Will they catch you cheating? Will you tell them the truth to conti or continue living a lie? Have a high school sweetheart you start on bad terms with. You could cheat this or just have them yell at each other. Um, have a ca very caring spouse who you're madly in love with. Have a perfect white picket fence home with your spouse. Slowly rebuild a relationship with your ex. Start hooking up with your ex and one of you gets pregnant. Raise the child under your roof. Have three or more children with your spouse. Divorce your spouse as an adult and take all the children. Stop being a stay-at-home parent and join the politician career. Master the aspiration. Will you continue seeing your ex? So, yeah. It, it is a lot of tea, a lot of drama. And I feel like... I like being family based but I also love drama so this is like perfect for me this is literally perfect so yeah is y'all are looking at rain this is Grayson Marillo which actually Elena made him shout out Elena only thing I did was give him more outfits and I just changed his hair color to this blonde with the brown undertone I thought it was cute so I just did that but yeah, I, I think he's really cute. And I was like, dang, he's kind of perfect. And I feel like it just makes everything better, you know? So I want her 
to come over here and they're already married and everything like basically this is the sim right here azure this is the sim that she was high school sweethearts with and now is dating um august well they're married now and so she still obviously likes her they obviously are like kind of alike literally they dress alike like they're kind of made for each other but they ended up breaking up obviously because she was hooking up with her sibling august and it was just not okay and she ended up you know wanting to find better and she found better and grayson is literally the perfect person like literally perfect for her like he does everything he pays for everything cooks like he is that and she ended up also having like getting pregnant when she was 18 with him and her parents also believe that if you get pregnant you got to get married so that's another reason why she kind of is in this marriage is she happy she is she does hate drama though which is kind of funny because it's going to be a little weird for her to deal with all this and who is this at our door vanessa i'm gonna give her a makeover not now but um i'm probably just gonna send her home for now because i really like don't want to talk to her who is calling us happy birthday grayson it is not his birthday what are you talking about is nowhere near his birthday that is that this is valentina this is abel and this is her um parents and then there's genesis which is her little sister who she's a preteen and then august they're all a little older they're like 20 21 now so yeah and then this is our little baby maya she's so cute she's a little cutie but she what's wrong oh she's hot oh my god let's just here let's just take her inside it's too hot to be out here just take her pick her up and i don't think i even got a high chair but it's fine just go here uh, he's literally like the everything of the house express joy of life oh i don't really play in del sol valley so i really wanted to start this um legacy in del sol valley i thought it'd be cute um what is he doing he's just going here okay well we can pick her up and just take her inside pick her up pick her up why can't you pick her up the sims are so weird but yeah this is also their family tree um you see married to grayson and then they had maya and then this is them and then he is married to um august no august is married to azure which i love the name azure a lot it's a really cute name so yeah um why are my sims being weird just reset you know what she can walk inside herself go here literally just walk in yourself and then sit here and then grayson i want you to cook um some food it's getting a little late so we can cook not dessert we can cook a um meals what do we want to cook um Ooh. this looks all really good oxtail with rice peas and plantain i feel like i make my sims make that all the time but i just love oxtail so let's just do he can serve up a mean chicken and waffles yeah he can do that this is everyone's room that's so cute her room is adorable i'm obsessed with it she's over here talking to herself i guess i want to adopt a pet i like usually get a pet off the street but i want to adopt a pet this time so i think i maybe want to i want a dog i feel like this family is like very much so 
a dog family oh my god barley is so cute doodle is adorable oh my god i don't know what i want to do coco a boston terriers are so cute mm, i don't know i think maybe i want to see doodle and i want to meet barley those who are who i want to meet oh my god doodle is so freaking cute oh my god i want her to friendly introduce herself to the dog doodle is adorable he's so perfect or she maybe maybe they're perfect where's the other dog we asked to see two oh here's the other one Oh, Barley. Oh my god. Rain just made acquaintances. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna adopt Doodle. Oh my god, yeah. We're adopting Doodle. He's a cutie. I love him. I do. I love him. She's over here. He's over here talking. What are his emotions? Higher position. Me? Arrogant? Why would someone think that? okay he feels really organized that's cute oh doodle's a girl i think penny lily squeeze star lily gate bubbles brenda spatula grant kona is a cute name we're naming her kona yeah she's adorable you can go now we can end this evaluation bye i want her to go over there and meet up with azure and be like hey um you know we haven't been talking it's been kind of awkward lately like you know like, it, it's just been weird, and I get that we're not, you know, dating anymore, and it's been a while since we've even talked, but, like, you can, like, still talk to me, and maybe they, they can go out for some drinks or something, and, you know, she can get some liquor courage, and she can start feeling herself. I'm kind of turned on right now. What about you? I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> maybe later she's like no but she hates conflict or drama she's a little scared like she's definitely like scared that something's gonna happen but she's had this on her mind and like she just knows that like he's like not like he's not what he what she wants basically i know that he kind of would be upset because like they all went to high school together, you know. I just want her to, like, send a couple texts. She's like, no. Like, I don't feel like it tonight. No. Like, I don't. It's a little awkward. But, like, he's still a sweetie. He makes good money. Like, discuss never leaving. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm curious about that. He's gonna be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go go to bed. I'm gonna go in here. He's gonna be like, you know what? I have work tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. She said that's very interesting. Respond to her. Also, I gotta fix the bed. I yeah, I'm gonna have Rain come in here and be like, you know, I know you have work tomorrow. Um, I want you to just go to bed. I'll be home later on. I'm gonna go out for a little bit with like everyone you know she's gonna go out so let's go out i gotta add more like things in this save but i want her to go to the city to send my shoe no um where is it we can go to the waterside warble planet honey pop's fine too we can go to planet honey pop and i just want her to go with azure and she's like i guess i can come with you it's like it's just awkward she's like 
brain was like, don't like go talk to August. You go just come out with me. So now they're going out. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. So she's really, really inspired now that she's here. This is Azure. Azure, they've known each other since high school. Azure is trans, cool as hell, amazing, beautiful, and yeah. And let us ask about her day. Just, you know, ask her how is she doing. Ask about taste in music. Be like, you know, what have you been listening to lately? Have you been listening to that new? I don't know. What I don't even know is how I listen to K-pop. Ask what her favorite color. It's pretty obvious what her favorite color is. Talk about dreams. Ooh. And then let us ask about... You know, boast about family be like, I have my own family, so yeah. Like, I don't need you. Just some corny shit like that. I want them to take a picture together. A photo with Azure. She's being goofy. Okay. She said, Mundy Bell. Okay, Azure. Thank you. You're you're funny. You're a, a comedian. But you know, literally range just like how did I miss out on this? Like how did I how was I not able to bag her and keep her? And like she she's upset. She's sad, but like what else can she do? You know? Well, she's gonna do something tonight. When I take a picture of my game get laggy. She's getting hella paranoid. She's like, she's getting fucking paranoid. She's like, oh my god, what if someone I know is here and they see us together? Like, this is not okay. Oh my god, my game is so laggy right now. Is she running to the bar? She's running to the bathroom? Oh my god, is she like... She, oh my god. Okay. Let's just order drink. Let's order drinks with the group. Let's order a, um, let's just order this drink. Okay, now my game's not lagging. Good. Go in here. I'm gonna turn my game up just a little bit. Ooh, she can sing. Who are you? She's a great singer. But yeah, we're ordering drinks now. We're gonna... Vlad's the bartender? Exact, and you dropped that because you suck. Because you're a fucking vampire. Ooh, she sat down next to us. Yes. She put on makeup. Oh my god. I hate when Sims do that, but okay. Um, friendly. Let's just not ask for makeup advice. Let's have her discuss interest. Yo, their friendship went up. I think, I don't know why, but when you take pictures in The Sims, it just goes up. Be flirty with her. Cause she sit back down? Okay, here's our drink. So she's getting a little tipsy. She's starting to feel something, you know. Can we sit together over here? Ooh, oh my god, she's taking the flirts. <clears throat> she's fucking taking the flirts. Let's compliment her appearance. Oh my god. Let's get this show on the roll. Let's do a pickup line. Oh my god, it's, it's working. Let's just keep flirting. She got, she has the courage now. She got that liquor courage. Let's make a move. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fucking working. Oh my god. Let's ask. Obviously, we know she's not single, but 
if the time has changed, you know, blow her a kiss, blow her a kiss. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh my god, they're literally about to have like a romance bar. Flirt with her more, just keep flirting. Oh my god. Confess attraction, be like, you know, I actually invited you out because I still like you. Like, I obviously still like you and I know... Like, you're dating my brother, and, like, we haven't seen each other in a while, but, you know, if we could try to start things over, can we? Like, we can keep it a secret. Oh, my God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Romance. Embrace her. Go embrace her. Just be like, you know, I missed you a lot, and... I don't ever, like, I feel butterflies when I'm with you. Like, I feel that, you know? I still feel the same way I did when, like, when we were still kids, you know? And I want them to have a first kiss. They're getting their romance bar back up. Make them, f oh, they're kissing. Oh, my God. She doesn't even care anymore. I'm pretty sure she's fucking tipsy. That was a disappointing drink. I mean... Your bartender made it, honey. And she's having intense lust. There's so much lust that makes you uncomfortable. And she's paranoid. She's still really paranoid, but it's okay. She'll be fine. I want them to hook up, though. Is there, like, a closet or something here? Or isn't there, like, the bush somewhere? Or nor? I don't even know. You know what? We can go back to her house and they can just sneak inside. She can woohoo with her and then go back home and woohoo with him. We'll see if she's pregnant. I'll end the part. <laughs> I just want to see. I just, I just, I want to try something now. You know? I'll catch up with you guys when they get over there. All right, so we made it back to... Basically, this is her parents' house, but she just moved in. Because, obviously, her brother lives here. Who is all at home? Okay, Valentina's here. I don't know what the hell Genesis is wearing, but she's here. This is the guest bedroom, but... You'd have to... Ooh. Oh, no. August is also here okay um not good um well we're gonna have to go over there anyways he's watching tv i think so he's really not paid attention to what's going on so i'm gonna have them come over here and woohoo possibly or maybe they can find somewhere to woohoo in the house if I just go make them woohoo. It's risky hookup. Because that like gives the chance for the baby. But I have it set to where woohoo, regardless, can get you pregnant. I need everyone to just stay where they're at in this house right now. Okay, they're running. They're just coming in together. Not a big deal. He's just like, oh, hey, sis. He probably thinks that they're just going in the living room. And there they go. Doing it. I'm just going to let them sit there and do it. <gasps> Please don't walk in here. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I got so nervous. No protection was used. Okay, cool. So, like I said, Azure is trans, so there is the chance that she can get pregnant so we'll see she's gonna be like okay i have to go it was really nice like being with you oh my god why is her makeup like that like it's so ugly but she was like i'll see you soon rain i'll see you soon he's in the bathtub so he doesn't even know what's going on she's going home 
He didn't see her. Nobody was caught. She's taking her butt home. This is so, like, crazy. Okay. I catch up with you guys when she gets home. We just made it home. You see how happy she is? Like, she literally was not even happy earlier. She's so happy. She had her kiss. She had a woohoo with her. Like, everything was going right. No protection was used. It wasn't the best kiss, but they were also drunk. She's still really, like, wanting some more. So, I guess we can go give that to him now. Um, let's see. Actually, I need to fix the bed, or Okay, so I gave him, I gave them a new bed. So, let's just woohoo with him. Just a simple woohoo. Nothing, nothing extra, you know. Okay, come over here. Just come here. Oh, Kona. So cute. Oh my god, my game is so laggy. Every time I go in the mill mode, it gets so laggy and it's so frustrating. I mean, I guess we can woohoo in the shower. Woohoo with Grayson. And girl, go back to sleep. Oh, she needs fun. She's like, you know, yo, what happened to my reshade? Okay. She's like, you know, I feel you. Let's go do it now. So now they're going to go do that with shoes and stuff cool um this is definitely not their first time but thank you you can go to sleep oh my goodness she's hopefully pregnant we'll just have to see it was nice to vent to you today on the phone did you call her and did you call her mom and talk about how she went out interesting interesting she's gonna eat i'm gonna have her go take a pregnant oh my god can my reshade stop i'm just gonna go have her take a pregnancy test and we're gonna see if she's obviously pregnant or not okay so she's pregnant which i'm i'm scared to know who the parent is because i don't know if it is him or if it was Azure, I don't know if it was her or if it was him. She doesn't know either. She doesn't really care if it is Azure's baby because she would not mind that. Let's go wake him up and be like, hey, I'm pregnant. Surprise, I'm pregnant. Really fast. And then... Okay, so she has to go to a prenatal visit. I'll probably do that off camera. Because I am about to end this episode off here. But I want her to sure admit not knowing who fathered your child. We're not going to do that. Share the big news. We're not going to do that. Do you guys think that she should tell... Do you guys think that we should eventually tell Grayson that, like, we're hooking up with someone else like I don't know should we I feel like that's a lot I feel like that is a lot ask to do a paternity test we're gonna go ask Azure to do the paternity test so I want him to just go back to sleep go take go back to your nap go back to your nap Let's bring Azure here. I asked to do the paternity test. He's gonna be like, listen, I need to know. And I don't want to find out that it's not like, obviously his, like Grayson's. Hey, so it says this sim is the mother of Ranch child. There we have it, Azure is, the other parent to the child. Jesus. 
not good for us, but obviously good for the challenge. Not good for us, but Grayson will still be happy that she's pregnant because he thinks it's hers. So we're going to go lie and be like, you did father our child. Tell Grayson he fathered Ray's child. We're going to lie and do that. Oof. I want her to go lie to him and be like, you know you are like, you're the other parent to my child, right? And like, I love you a lot. He's so excited. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, he's so sweet. He's so excited. Do you guys think eventually she should tell she should tell you know tell Grayson Azure is not happy okay this is extremely paranoid she's a smooth liar from lying about parenthood it's not pretty to lie but Rain has her reasons Jesus news well received from disclosing Rain's partner reacted very well to being told they are the other parent like like he's not even that I feel so bad I feel so bad do you guys think that rain should eventually tell the truth because she's obviously not <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below how you guys feel about this first episode so far I am having ooh, I'm having so much fun so far it is definitely a lot of drama a lot of tea and I'm happy to get into it and be exciting this is gonna be fun to have something fresh but yeah do you guys think what do you guys think down below in the comments tell me what you guys feel about the episode how do you guys feel about the characters do you guys think that she should tell Grayson the truth like do you guys like should she talk to Azure and be like like, I know, like, I'm pregnant, and, like, obviously you're the other parent to it, like, what do you guys think she should do down below? Let me know. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like, make sure you leave a like and a sweet, sweet comment down below, because it helps me out a lot. And make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell so you never miss when I post. Bye, besties. Bye.